hello youtube uh, welcome uh, this is our uh, third uh, session uh, i think it's our fourth part of the mysql architecture today uh, we will be uh, studying about we will be uh, looking into our story engine part 2 uh, before this uh, if you check this diagram uh, not this uh, area uh, this uh, shaded area <coughs> We, I have already discussed about the, like this is the InnoDB on this structure, the whole this structure. To, uh, is, so, uh, sorry, it is the InnoDB uh, whole uh, architecture. Uh, but uh, today we will be discussing only about the InnoDB this structure, which is this part, uh, this area. And we have already discussed this InnoDB uh, memory structure. Uh, you can check my previous session for that. So today uh, we will be discussing uh, about the InnoDB uh, this structure, uh, which includes the uh, table spaces, and uh, we have uh, buffer, double buffer, uh, buffer files, and we have chain buffer, uh, which inside the system table space, and uh, we also have uh, this uh, undo table space here, and uh, we have the redo logs. Uh, we will also discuss this. Uh, we have general table spaces, and what is the uh, file per table we will also discuss those things and we also have this uh, uh, temporary tables uh, and in those inside we have uh, temp files so okay guys uh, let's go one by one into first we will discuss uh, uh, table spaces then double write buffer then the redo log and after that at the end we will discuss about what are the undo logs uh, basically undo logs uh, are the part of the undo table space but still uh, i will show you that where they resides and how everything works okay, so starting from uh, table space uh, table space for uh, this is a storage uh, for InnoDB uh, and it is divided like the storage of InnoDB is divided into table spaces uh, a table space is a logical structure associated with multiple data files uh, data files being uh, a table which uh, if you create a table a table creates its own data file uh, if a uh, file per table uh, variable is enabled uh, otherwise uh, the table will be created inside the system table space uh, it will it will not create its own uh, data file so each table space uh, contain pages uh, which is blocks uh, if you uh, say in oracle or at the storage level but in Oracle, in mysql we call it pages and extends obviously uh, we have segments as well so uh, a page can contain uh, one or more rows uh, depending on how much uh, data is is in each row uh, if a row uh, does not fit entirely into a single page uh, InnoDB set up additional pointer style uh, data structure so that the information about the row uh, can be stored in one page uh, one way to fit uh, more data uh, in each page uh, is to use a compressed row format uh, i have already discussed this compressed row format in my previous sessions that what is what are the row formats in uh, mysql uh, you can check for my previous session uh, and uh, for tables uh, that use blobs or large text field compressed row format allows uh, those large columns uh, to be stored separately from the rest of the row uh, so that is the very uh, good thing about using the compressed row format actually uh, it's about uh, uh, like uh, letting uh, the data files to use less space on your OS level so uh, this is how, uh, how what is the page and when combining multiple pages uh, it grouping multiple pages creates an extent uh, so uh, let's say uh, and a group of pages within a table space uh, for, for the for the default page size of uh, 16 KB and extent contains like uh, 64 uh, pages uh, why 64 pages because uh, the exact size uh, of the extent is 1 MB so so when you uh, if your page size is 16 KB then once you divide 1 MB over 16 KB and it gives you 64 so that's why uh, we say that uh, extents have uh, 64 pages uh, in one extent so uh, further devaging uh, we come while combining the extents uh, uh, which which gives you segments uh, so this is like multiple extents combined together which uh, it's become a segment so a division within a InnoDB table space uh, if a table space is analogous to a directory uh, if we say uh, then the segments are analogous to the files uh, within the directory so that's how uh, 
the segments are out. So yes, segment can grow. New segments can also be created. Like for example, uh, within a file per table space, a table data is one segment, and each associated index is in own segments. Uh, so this the system table space contain many different segments because uh, it can hold many tables and their associated indexes. Uh, uh, like uh, prior to MySQL uh, 8.0, the system table space also includes only one or more uh, rollback segments and used for undo log segments. So now, so now in MySQL 8, uh, the undo is uh, not associated with system table space. Uh, it has on own undo table space. So uh, this is how uh, the segments uh, works. And next we have. Uh, few more table spaces uh, which is uh, inside the system table space file per table table space uh, general table space undo table space and temporary table space so today uh, we will be discussing this uh, what is uh, all these uh, table spaces and starting from uh, this uh, system table space okay so the system uh, in ODB uh, system table space contains uh, the InnoDB data dictionary. Uh, what I mean by data dictionary, uh, which have all the metadata uh, related to InnoDB uh, storage engine, uh, like uh, what are the users. Like uh, we have four schemas: SQL, SIS schema, uh, information schema, and all that uh, performance schema. This all this information is available inside this uh, uh, metadata. So uh, the buffer, uh, so the system table space also contains. Uh, yes, and one more thing, the system table space is the storage area for change buffer. So this is important. Uh, before uh, it also had double buffer write uh, inside this system table space, but now in MySQL 8, uh, the buffer uh, double buffer write has been taken out of uh, system table space, and only the change buffer resides inside the system table space. So yeah, uh, the system table space can also contain tables and indexes data for any user created tables that are created inside the system table space. So yes, uh, the system table space can uh, hold uh, tables and indexes data which are created by any user inside this system table space. Yeah, the system table space is considered a shared table space since it is a shared by multiple tables. Yes, obviously uh, that's a very simple line. Uh, the system table space is separated by one or more data file by default uh, yes uh, one uh, only one system data file uh, name ib data one is created uh, inside the data directory let me show you that uh, if i if this is my mysql uh, uh, if i go to uh, war uh, lib mysql so this is my data directory and if i ll here this is the ib data one if you check this uh, this is my system table space data file. Uh, so this is how you can check that uh, what is my system data file. Uh, if I show you from prompt, uh, I have this query which will let you know what is my table space and check here. Okay. Uh, this is my InnoDB system data file and this is IB data one. So only one data file is by default. So this is a fresh installation. I just uh, installed some employee schema uh, for testing purposes. And if check the system table space, we have IB data. Okay. So this is how it's work. So yes, uh, we can uh, change, uh, we can resize uh, the system table space, but that's not possible. Uh, that easily, uh, what you have to do is you have to, like, uh, it's better if you, it's better to keep the, uh, by default it's also uh, auto extend. But if, but in previous, uh, maybe in previous session, uh, previous uh, version, it is not uh, auto extend. But in MySQL 8, it's auto extend and uh, you don't need to resize it. But if you want to change you know, the value, like how if you still want to decrease the size or something like that, uh, what you have to do is that you have to take down, uh, shut down the MySQL instance and uh, you have to add the auto extend and add a new data file to the end of InnoDB uh, data file path. So then after that, uh, you can start the MySQL server again and it will come up in the uh, new uh, new extended size so that's how uh, you can extend the table space uh, system table space size you can also decrease the table space size but that is also the same thing that uh, you have to take the dump and you have to drop the table uh, the 
produce a uh, the data file and after that uh, you have to take down the system and you have to restore it uh, that's how you can do it okay so next uh, we have uh, in odb uh, data dictionary we also i talked about this before that uh, what is in odb uh, data dictionary uh, actually the in odb data dictionary stores the information uh, related to your uh, metadata of your tables uh, or any information if you i show you here show databases actually these are uh, these uh, information schema and these three uh, mysql performance schema and since this is your uh, information which is related to all this uh, uh, metadata and it's also store the information about uh, like what are the data files uh, at the level uh, at the os level uh, like in the data directory uh, exit let's exit uh, ll so these uh, like binary file what are the bin logs and all this and uh, like which is what is my uh, like inside if i go to movies I store this information of uh, these tables okay uh, so it knows that where this uh, table resides is all the information is stored inside your uh, metadata so uh, yes I, as i discussed we have information schema we have a mysql directory uh, correspond to mysql system schema uh, which contains information required by the mysql server as it runs uh, so when you start the mysql server it requires some information uh, uh, like the physical structure what is my physical structure then which is provided by mysql schema so once you start it, it all the information comes from mysql and also the configuration file as well so the this database contains the data dictionary tables and the system tables we have performance schema directory can respond to performance schema which i have showed you uh, which uh, provides information used uh, to inspect the data uh, like how the uh, how this is how the system is uh, uh, going what is the performance so all the states are uh, available inside the performance schema then we have sys directory uh, which is which is for sys schema uh, which provides a set of objects to help interrupt performance schema information and more easily so this is uh, like performance schema use the sys information to tell you that how your system is performing so uh, this is about the InnoDB data dictionary. Next, we have uh, the file per table. Uh, a file per table is a single table space uh, that is created uh, in its own data file rather than in the system table space. So, uh, this is a, this is separate from system table space. Like whenever you create uh, a table, uh, a table creates its own table space. So, if this InnoDB file per table is enabled. Uh, let's say uh, in my uh, environment, let's say my SQL select uh, 88. Eight, uh, if I check this, so this is enabled, it's one. So if I create any table, uh, just like if I create any table, like let's say uh, create table, okay. Uh, use Mokoes. So I have created this table, and uh, if I check, like uh, if this has created its own table space or not, then I uh, will show you. Okay, check this um, inside Mokoes uh, TS3. It's I created a table, and it's created its own table space as well. So this is because uh, we have this file per table enabled. So once this is enabled, whenever you create a table, it will create uh, its own table space as well. So this has a lot of benefits uh, uh, because. It is easy for us uh, to drop uh, this table. Uh, so it's not that uh, it's other. You can also drop the tables, other tables in the same format. But the uh, good thing about this is that uh, once you drop this table, uh, it uh, gives you an advantage. It gives you an advantage, uh, like uh, how to. It gives you an advantage that it releases the space uh, very well. So the problem with the shared table space, which is, uh, which can be general table space or which can be system table space. So once you drop the table, uh, the space is available at the table space level, but the space is not available at your uh, OS level. So uh, the disk disk space uh, disk space uh, space uh, is not returned to the operating system after truncating or dropping the table. So. Uh, 
you can truncate or drop but the space will not be allowed to be. so and file per table space data file can be created on a separate storage as well uh, if you want to create a se it on a uh, separate table uh, storage as well uh, what you have to do is uh, that you have to tell mysql uh, that this is another directory uh, which i can where i can store uh, my uh, tables or my create my uh, table spaces for that you have to uh, provide uh, you have to set a variable uh, nodb directories uh, in mysql and uh, you have to provide and uh, you have to restart your uh, mysql uh, server uh, only then can mysql know that this is your uh, another directory where you can store uh, your table spaces or tables so this is how uh, uh, this is the this is the uh, advantage of uh, using file per table table space and yes another table space uh, another advantage of this is that uh, a single table space can grow up to 64 terabyte so uh, if you are using uh, shared table space uh, then one table uh, if you have multiple tables then you cannot use a table uh, one table cannot grow up to 64 terabytes so if you are using file per tables then each table can grow up to 64 terabyte because uh, it's the only table inside this table space so this is uh, another advantage and yes uh, advantages come with disadvantages as well so once you creating a file per tables uh, what it does is mysql create a, uh, a process uh, thread to open the files uh, open f open files so more memory has been consumed and uh, the f sync operation are performed on multiple files so yes there is io and the memory uh, but it's not that uh, too much uh, and because uh, it is uh, done in a very uh, performance uh, intensive uh, work so it's not that much costly because oracle recommends to use uh, the file per tables and this is enabled by default okay so next we have